These are Iraqi Dinar Guru updates, news, opinions, and Intel Dinar opinion. According to News Hound Guru Caparoni, the article, Establishment of the Commercial Arbitration Center in Iraq, the significance of conducting business with other nations worldwide and structuring relationships to benefit both sides is highlighted in the article. Particularly given Iraq's impending re-entry into the World Trade Organization WTO, he clarified that the initiative is one of the accomplishments related to Iraq's application to join the International Chamber of Commerce ICC WTO mandate. Iraqi Commercial Arbitration Center's Establishment According to Iraqi Dinar Newshound, Intel Guru Walking Stick, the question, why hasn't the exchange rate changed lately? The response is always the same. Iran's corruption steals from the CBI auctions through their political leaders and from the government. According to news hound guru Samson, the article, Establishment of the Commercial Arbitration Center in Iraq. According to Iraqi Dinar Intel guru Frank 26, to reach the cap, use the float. I'm in a quagmire here if I am Sabibi. I'm in a catch-20 to situation. I'll be damned if I do or don't. I'm not sure if I want the Iraqi dinar to float for a long time, but if I let it float freely, everyone outside will benefit financially and it will appreciate in value. On the other hand, I have a ton of contracts, a ton of people, and a ton of reserves that include a ton of our money. They're depending on me, so I have to exercise caution. I'm not sure what action he will take. According to news hound guru militia man, Although oil has been above $80 for a while, it is included in the budget for 2023 at a price of $70. They're making a substantial profit. Then, they have significantly raised non-oil income at the borders, lots of money, natural gas in liquid form, etc. This is taking place. The topic of sovereign funds has been discussed. These men are going to be extremely wealthy if all they say is true. According to Iraqi Dinar News Hound Guru Militia Man, we haven't seen them reveal that rate or that information to us just yet, but they will. They don't have much of a choice because the budget became law on June 12th. The court has already stated that just because they have an appeal doesn't mean it gives them any weight. That is what we are waiting for as we speak to find out what's in the budget. According to News Hound, Intel Guru MNT Go. My CBI contact stated that our committee was instructed to be ready in June and planned to begin the zero racing project in June. However, the central bank has not yet received the written assurances from the U.S. Treasury that they will fully support us throughout the process. To me, this meant carrying out the project to get rid of the zeros, change the notes, and then bring the dinar back. I was assured that my thoughts were correct. Since everything was already part of the Dr. Shabibi plan, I already knew this. This was only an affirmation that they are still intently at any rate. Following this piece of the arrangement, the U.S. is as yet keeping down and not completely supporting the monetary changes and the occasions that should occur toward the finish of the second period of the change cycle. Post one of to check back later. According to Intel Guru Frank 26, report on Iraqi boots on the ground firefly, Saleh appears on TV, he asserts that Iraq is positioned as the strength of the Middle East and that there is no cash shortage. F-R-A-N-K, because they are about to pour lower notes all over you, he is attempting to inform you that we are about to provide you with purchasing power, there is no liquidity issue. According to Iraqi Dinar Newshound, Intel Guru MNT Goat, so as investors, where do we stand with the RV? Based on this information from my Saturday call to Iraq, I will summarize it for you. We are still waiting for the U.S. to give assurances. The project to delete the zeros was scheduled for June and we will still have a week remaining in June. This is all I know and can tell everyone at this point, but I will tell you that I was told last month that for us to see the RV, there was only two phases and that they were completing the second phase in June. So go figure. What would you now think? Post two of two. According to Iraqi Dinar Intel Guru Marx, via PDK question, do we know for sure if we will be taxed at our exchange or not? Marx, we do not know for sure. It's best to plan on being taxed and hope you are not. I do not think we are going to be taxed. 
Most of my sources say we will not, but I am prepared if they are wrong. Check with your tax professional at the appropriate time.